Okay? Do want to catch up with you because even though we've done this before, because we, uh, yeah. we did it last November, uh, where you should have made your debut, um, because of uh, the medical wasn't all quite sorted out, uh, you didn't get a chance to fight on the show, um, which would have been brilliant for you because hometown debut would have yeah, been ace. In Wigan. But now we're at Bolton. It's only uh, down the road, so. Still. Well, it's, it's only down the road, but do you know something? For a venue where you've got to make your debut, I think there's no better place. Oh no, it's a great. I've, I've, I've fought in there before, obviously not professional, but it's, it's a great, great venue. Obviously, I've been watching the lads there as well. So. Well, I think Lennox has fought there quite, yeah, a, few fought quite a few times. I think Joe was, so. had his second fight down there yeah, yeah. Uh, when he stopped uh, Jamie Quinn. So, but but what, what I like about it is when you're stuck in the changing rooms, dwelling on what you're about to do. And, and it's a big thing with your debut, mate, you know, and I think we spoke last time, uh, you, you're not that experienced, you know, 10 no. white collar fights, I know yeah. it was 10 wins, yeah. um, and then you had the one amateur fight where you went over to Ireland and yeah. <laughs> you stepped up in weight, <laughs> no, stepped yeah. in with a kid, I think, who was 80 odd fights, uh, I, I'm not sure if he was unbeaten, but he, he was almost 80 odd wins, yeah. um, and you, you stepped up and won the box cup, won the gold medal. Yeah. So, so You've, you've already experienced quite a lot, but this is a brilliant place to experience your debut because you can enjoy the whole atmosphere, you can see what's happening, and then 15, 20 minutes before you fight, then you can focus on what you need to do instead of sitting in the changing room dwelling on it for two or three hours. No, yeah, too, okay, cause I think it's just above it, so you can, you can, yeah. see, you can see it down, can't you, on, onto the ring, but no, I'm, look, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, it's been a long time to do this, so... Well, last time I called with you, um, when, we, when we spoke about you fighting on uh, the November show in, in uh, Robin Park, uh, I caught you sparring uh, Brad um, Davies. Brad Davies, yeah. Um, and that was the first time I'd watched you uh, actually move out. Obviously, obviously, I've seen you on the bikes and I've seen you, you know, uh, uh, do boxing Pacific training, but I'd not actually seen you sparring. Spar before, yeah. I was really impressed, mate. I was really impressed because... Um, you're not just a puncher like I thought you was going to be. You, you can box really well. No, yeah, I do. I do try to to box instead of just going in brawling. Uh, like I said, jabs for me anyway is the most important punch. I try and get that work in. Once I get that work in, then I'll. Well, I think that's a, a bit of a key to this gym, isn't it? Because yeah, your coach Lee Brundell yeah, was, was uh, used it really, really well, and uh, you know all your stable mates do as well. But but it's nice to see it in action. And, yeah. Uh, and it's not just a, an occasional jab, you're persistent with it, you know, it's doubles, it's triples, it's, uh, it's very pleasing to watch. And even though this has been a long process for you, uh, a, a short process but a long process, because we spoke about this for yeah, over a year yeah, now. It's been good, yeah. um, but you've been, was you about 18 years old when you, when you turned up at this place with your dad? I think it was just before I was 18, so I think I was 17. Uh, Turning 18, yeah. uh, I turned up here. Uh, As a keep fitter? Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> to help your fitness with your football? With my football, yes. Yeah. So I wasn't even coming to box really, I was coming to keep fit for football and then <laughs> uh, I just got the knack. Um, how, how long was it before you got the bug then? Uh, when boxing really got grabbed hold of you and you I thought, I'm hanging up the football boots and. I, uh, when did I stop playing football? I stopped playing football at 19, so it took me a year. Yeah. I think I got the I got the bug at six months in, but then another six months is then I thought I'll pack it in the football. And even so, while you were boxing white collar, you were still moving around with quality pros, weren't you? Even yeah. before you even thought about going, is that what gave you the the, uh, the inspiration to think? Well, actually, if I'm moving around with these guys at the highest level in in in, um, in the pro game, why can't I be it? Yeah, you know, it certainly helps. Anyway, I think. Once you can see you can you can go in there and do it with them, you start believing in yourself. And then, like I say, it just takes over then. Yeah, because I remember um, you was a big part of Jack Massey's camp for Joe Parker, for wasn't Joe Parker, you? Joe Parker, yeah, yeah. Um, and Jack is, is, is a huge uh, cruiserweight. Um, who have you been moving now with in preparations for March the 2nd? Um, I, I did a few with Jack again, yep. Massey, uh, Lyndon Arthur. Oh, Jack had just, uh, just made a return to the ring and I think it was a first round stoppage. Yeah, it was a good, good stoppage as well. Uh, oh. It was on the Jonas undercard. Yes, it was. Yeah, it was a good stoppage. Good, good right hand set it up and then he just, just took him out afterwards. But uh, yeah, so I did a few with him before that uh, to prepare him for his fight and me for mine, obviously. And London after I've done a few, a few oh, rounds right. with him. Um, 
Roman, we're back in with Roman. And in fact, you, what, what, you, that was weird, that, because when you inspired Brad Pauls, Roman was getting ready to spar Brad Pauls, he was, wasn't he? he was and you were know, yeah. also doing rounds with Roman Fury. Yeah, I was doing rounds with both, yeah. Uh, and what's weird, I, I think I mentioned it in the last video, that you know we talk about your limited experience as you know actual fight work. Only that kid. He's no experience at no, all, yeah, you know. I think he's three and zero now. I think he stopped Brad, didn't he? he did, the, he did. So it was a pe Brad. peach of a left up, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was as, um, as Brad was coming in, he's just yeah, it was a lovely shot. Um, and um, he'd never even had a white collar fight, and, and no no amateur experience, no nothing. Yeah. He's moving well, isn't he? No, he is. He is. But it's in the jeans, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's it's the jeans. Jeans. he's improved in my age. Yeah. Good rounds. All rounds are good rounds, though. And we're not sure, we think we have an opponent, we think it's the same opponent that he should have been fighting in November. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Um, I think he's a, a Polish guy based out of uh, Wakefield. Yeah. If I, if I'll try and find I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name because I'm useless. Um, Me but neither, if, so. if it is, that would be good for you. Yeah, no, yeah. Um, but are you, are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. I, I've been waiting a long time for this, so I just can't wait to get going. Just, like I say, it's just a start. So. You're still only young though, aren't you? 23, just just turned 23. Just turned 23, but yeah. and, and as a cruiserweight, that's really young. Yeah, well, I was um, I was actually doing this video, I was looking through your box rec at all the ages. There's not many young cruiserweights at all. No. They're all. And and if everything goes perfect, like we've done with a lot of your stable mates, like Lennox and Joe and uh, a couple of other kids who've come from this gym, um, in two years' time we could be up there, and at 25, because that's what you'll be, you could be sitting pretty. Fingers crossed. I mean, that's that's. That's the goal, I suppose. Yeah. Make sure. Although I think the the aim now is just to make sure I win every fight, win uh, in style. And, and what's Lee got to line up for you? Because we, like I say, it's two weeks on Saturday. Yeah. So have you got any more spars lined up before? I think we've got. I think two 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 more spars. Yeah. And yeah. then And then it should be obviously training up until the week before. Then on the week, it's just cruising into the fight. Into I was going to say, so. you know, do you like the, the week before fight night, but it's your debut, so we don't know, do you? Well, I don't know, yeah. I, 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 I find that time. must be the most frustrating part of, of the week, even though your body needs that rest, um, you know, to make sure you're, you're ready for fight night. Yeah. It must be terrible because you've been slogging yourself out and suddenly you've got all this extra time on your hands. Oh, yeah. No, I won't do it myself. <laughs> so, yeah, even when Lee tells me to rest day, like, even on a weekend, I'll have, have the Saturday, I'll have the Sunday off. I'm like, I'm like itching, I don't want to do it myself. Like, <laughs> no, sat inside, I'm like, but yeah, that's just from training all the time. Yeah. But, so well, it's a good thing, but sometimes it can be a bad thing, but. I just need to get it right, that's all. Yeah, right, oh, that, that's what all these early fights are for. Yeah, they're they're learning nice. fights to find out how you can be the best you. Yeah. Um, but I, I've no doubt uh, we're going to have Louise down there and uh, she'll be talking to all the fighters afterwards. Will, we, she, will she be saying one and all to you? Yeah, of course she will. Okay. Of course she will. <laughs> I'll see you on the second, mate. See you on the second. Bye. Bye. For all boxing info, news and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across and off, click and subscribe. VIP boxing promotions, also Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.